What's up you guys, it's your boy Techie Chris and I'm back here with another video for you. So this video is for my fellow people who are in college, um, people who are job searching, people who are trying to find that first tech job or internship and are having a very, very tough time. Most of the time, it's really hard for you to find that first internship because of your resume. Your resume has to be one of the most polished documents that you have ever written. Your resume has to be tip top shape and a lot of you guys don't have a solid resume which is sending you guys far back because if you just had a solid resume you would be able to get the interview and then from there on out I mean it's the ball is in your hands as soon as you get the interview you are able to make it whatever you want it to be you are able to make the best impression on that recruiter or whoever it is as soon as you get that interview right but a lot of times you guys are having trouble to even get the interview simply because of your resume so today I'm going to share with you the resume template that helped me get five plus internships while in college. On top of that, this resume template also helped me to get two full-time offers for after graduation. So you might be asking, why is the resume template even so important? And the truth is, a lot of these recruiters, when they look at your resume, your resume is the first thing that pops out to them when you apply for a job, right? So the way that you talk on the resume, the way that you use punctuation, the way that you address certain principles and things that you have done, you know in your career is very important because most of the time recruiters don't even take up to five seconds to look at a resume when they see a resume they might take they might take those five seconds and if they don't like what they see they're going to toss your resume um you have to make a good first impression on a lot of these recruiters to be able to even you know have your resume looked at thoroughly um a lot of the time they also put these resumes through ATS systems and they just are scanned for keywords. So you have to be able to match your resume with job descriptions. You have to, you know, you have to cater yourself to that specific position. This resume has helped me so much through my job search in college. Um, like I mentioned, I've had five internships and two full-time offers with this resume. I've also had many people who I've shared this resume template with let me know that after using the tips in this video that they started to receive interviews left and right. This resume template is short proof to put you over your competition when searching for internships or jobs. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the resume. So for starters, we're gonna talk about the header of your resume. The way I have this resume set up is I have my first and last name in big bold letters. You should not have your name in any kind of small letters on your resume because you want your name to stick with them. You want your name to be big and bold so that when the recruiter sees it and they pick your resume up again and look at it later, they say, okay, yes, I remember him because I saw his name on that paper and it stood out to me. Right under the name, I typically have the position title that I'm applying for. I don't always recommend this for internships because for internships, um, you know, it can vary. It could vary. You're usually going to be a software engineering intern, IT intern, whatever the case may be. So I don't always recommend putting the job title for putting the job title for internships. But if you have been in the field for some time and you have a position to your name, like me, I am a network engineer. I would list that I am a network engineer on my resume. Next, what I do is I usually will put the area that I am. So I'm based in Atlanta, Georgia. When applying to internships that are in the Atlanta area, I go ahead and let them know that I am in the Atlanta area. Right next to that, you're gonna go ahead and put your email address, and then you're gonna put a link to your LinkedIn profile. If you put the link to your LinkedIn profile, you're going to put you're gonna put your cell phone number right next to that. So next, we're gonna talk about the personal summary. When applying to internships, most of the recruiters already know that you don't have a ton of experience. Since you don't have a lot of experience, what better way is there to introduce yourself to giving them a two to three line summary of who you are and what you do? Your personal summary should be extremely short. It shouldn't take more than three lines on your resume paper. Honestly, this is not my this is not my current resume. On my current resume, I don't even have a personal summary. Because when you start gaining experience, it's good to let the experience be the focal point of your resume. Right under that personal summary, what I have next is my education. Typically keep my education very short and sweet. I let them know the degree that I'm pursuing, my GPA, my expected graduation date, and I also let them know the university that I attend and the city that the university is in. Under that, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of my certifications that I have worked on. If you have worked on any certification, this is the place to put the certifications right here. Especially if you're searching for internships, having a couple certifications under your belt will put you far ahead of your competition. Now that we can move into work experience. So for my work experience, I keep it very short and very simple. I say the position that I had at what company that I had it. After that, I specify the month and year that I held that position. I list a couple of points that I did at that job. What I recommend is for you to list the things that you actually did on your job and then have ChatGPT formalize and make those resume points sound a lot better. Another thing to note for work experience is that you should have the most recent work experience at the top. 
you shouldn't have the work experience that you did in 2020 be above the work experience that you did in 2023. For here, you're just gonna list all the positions that you did and you're gonna give a good description about what you did at that job. And then you're gonna have ChatGPT make it sound a little bit better. So a lot of you guys don't have experience, which is why you wanna get an internship to gain experience. So that is what the project section is for. When searching for internships, you're more than likely not gonna have a ton of experience. That is why you need to be making sure you're participating in extracurricular projects and things that stimulate your brain outside of your schoolwork. Since I have a good bit of experience, I only have one project listed, which is a TCP chat room. It was a way to ensure confidential and encrypted messaging between two users at different locations. I'm gonna say this again, if you do not have experience, make sure you list your projects. And if you have a GitHub repository with these projects, go ahead and throw the GitHub repository link on your resume. Last but not least, what I do is I list a couple of skills that I have or technologies that I worked with on the bottom of my resume. Like I said, this is not my most recent resume template, but this is the resume that I use to land multiple internships while in college. So if you have any skills that you believe will be valuable to that employer, go ahead and list them right there and make them in big, bold letters. So this is the resume template that really helped me to succeed while in college. Using this resume template is not a guarantee that you'll be able to get interview and internship offers, but it definitely will put you ahead of the game and give you an understanding of things that you need to work on. I'm 100% sure that there are hundreds and hundreds of better resume templates, and those resume templates might be better for you. But this is what specifically worked for me and many other people who use my same resume template. I appreciate you so much for watching to the end of the video. And if you want me to personally send you a copy of this resume template, what you're gonna do is go to www.techychris.com, scroll all the way down to the bottom of my website, and what you're gonna do from there is submit a form and type the word SEND in all capital letters. If this video was helpful to you, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. I post weekly videos about tech-related content. Anyways, I thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'm out.